Oh, I'll tell you, Bally. Hello, everybody. It's been a while. Hello. Um, yes, last thing I think I did was, uh, I think it was Thrusty for Sale plus the Kimco AK550. Um, yes, mixed, mixed uh, comments on that one, but uh, it was a thoroughly enjoyable and uh, versatile steed. Uh, back on Thrusty at the moment. Just decided uh, it hasn't had a run for a month. Still hasn't sold. Um, so I thought I'd uh, ride to work and back. Hooray! Uh, rather enjoying it. And actually now, something that I noticed on the way here, going through a couple of the tunnels. Now, I'm on my third set of gauges due to warranty claims, uh, due to uh, the ingress of condensation. Um, in one of my early vlogs, I mentioned about this bike, how the kilometres per hour were bright and the miles per hour were um, faint. And so I thought, I questioned it. I went to my dealer and said, what's going on? Is that meant to be the case? And have I got something like a French or continental bike with continental clocks? What's going on there then? And uh, they said, no, no, that's perfectly normal. Perfectly normal, don't worry about it. Um, well, I'm afraid to say, clock set number three, all of the numbers on the dials, I'm not sure if you can see, are as bright, are as bright as each other. So, uh, yes, so if your clocks on your Thruxton, or Thruxton R, are a little bit, a little bit off kilter, watch out for the little uh, E, what's E? Estonia, probably? Probably something like that. If your clocks are a little bit faint in places, that would be the reason why. Uh, you need to get new clocks. <laughs> yes, E, Estonia, I think it is. E on the number plate. You can correct me if you want to. He was very appreciative of my motorcycle, which I'm still trying to sell. <laughs> and considering I haven't sold it yet, I'm really starting to think, fuck it, I may as well keep it. <laughs> uh, so, I thought I'd say hello. Haven't spoken to you for a while. Tally Bally Ho, etc. Um, yes, now the new key videos, they went down very, very well, but they were sort of like two months ago now. Um, meanwhile, my subscriber count has steadily gone up. Uh, 11,300? No, 200, something like that. Um, I'm probably exaggerating, probably only just over 11,000. And uh, yeah, never mind. Shits and giggles and all that. So I thought I'd just touch base, say hello. Thank you very much for keeping with me. Now, Loads of people have been saying, what are you going to do? Are you going to get a bike? Are you going to get a different bike, etc.? Now, I'm sure I explained this, and I have explained this. This is purely for the short term. I need to sell this bike. Uh, I'm indeed up for promotion soon, so... I'll almost be in a position to buy the same bike again. Or something different. Everyone knows I'm a Triumph fanboy, but I'm British. I'm a British traditionalist. I like British stuff. I'm very loyal. I'm very patriotic and all that lovely stuff. Not to a fault, I hope. I hope I'm fully inclusive of everybody who might possibly ever come across me. <laughs> oh, please. Uh, so, but that does mean that Triumph is fully squarely in my uh, line of fire when it comes to brands. Ducatis I find a little bit edgy. I don't like the look of them. Anyway, I like the classic look. Um, Ducati Scrambler doesn't do it for me. Yamaha doesn't do it for me. I'm probably just an idiot, really. There are probably better bikes out there. Uh, BMW, yes, but there are bits of the bikes I don't like the look of, whereas I pretty much like everything on this bike. I love everything on the Triumph Scrambler. Um, now there's a 1200 Scrambler coming out. <laughs> oh, dear God. Um, yes. I must admit, I'm starting to like the idea of an upright bike. Um, I find the Speedmaster very comfortable, but again, you're upright, put your feet forward, so a lot of the shock goes up your spine, whereas on the Scrambler, you're sitting upright nicely, like a touring bike, uh, like an adventure bike. It, but if they do a 1200, I mean, I loved this, the 900 Scrambler, really easy peasy piss, piss to ride. Hmm. Anyway, I digress. The point is, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to be here, I'm still going to do reviews. The summer is slow for me because in my days off, I'm at home with my family who are on school holidays, you see. My wife's a teacher, so she's at home. And uh, my children are at home. And whether my wife just wants me to help out, look after the children, or I actually want to spend time with them. 
that's uh, what stops me from going out. Now, now it's term time, and I have, uh, I've been working the odd weekend, which means I get days off during the week. That's my party time. That's my time to ride. So, think of more reviews. I still have yet to ride the, <laughs> ride, let alone review, ride the Speed Triple RS. Um, what I will plan to do is ride the Street Triple RS again, just before, to then ride the Speed Triple RS back to back straight afterwards. Um, try and remind myself from my review of the Street Triple RS what it was like, ride it again, then go straight into the Speed Triple RS with differences and comparisons, and hopefully I'll survive. Um, so yes, here we are, just about to get onto the M11 from the North Circular. Whee! It's more fun when there aren't any cars about and when I'm not concentrating on chatting. Hi. Um, so, that's the plan. So, hang on, I've digressed again. I'm not going anywhere because uh, if I do sell this motorcycle, uh, a friend of mine, well, one of my closest friends, um, he's got a street triple that he's only done about 2,000 miles on in eight years, something ridiculous, um, sitting in his garage in perfect condition, and he said I can borrow it for as long as I like. So, and it's just like my old one, it's black. In fact, it's got a lot of the parts from my old one, all the, all the accessories. <laughs> um, so it'd be like riding my old Street Triple, which would be nice. Uh, it won't be this, um, but yes. Yeah. So if I do get to sell this, I'll be on that Street Triple for a while whilst I think about finances and other options. Um, the Triumph Speedmaster 1200 and the Triumph Street Scrambler are firmly in my sights. Um, for cost, Street Scrambler. Um, for keeping forever, with a bad knee and possibly a bad back, the Speedmaster definitely seems like the best bet, especially if my wife wants to go on the back, as it were. <laughs> um, love a little bit of bareback. Anyway, the um, that's why the bobber's out. I did like the bobber black, loved throwing it around. Bloody amazing, considering I had big fat tyres and it still handled like a princess. They're my options, and then, of course, other other options too. What I would love to be able to do is to have a classic Triumph in the stable, but then branch out for other bikes, um, possibly BMW, maybe Honda. The Crumbles Honda Africa Twin is um, a mighty machine. Um, so I don't know. Anyway, there we go. Bit of an update. Hello. Nice to see you. Um, and uh, that's where we are really so don't panic i'm not going anywhere uh or bad luck if you were hoping i was uh, going to stop uh i'm not hanging up my boots just yet my wife certainly has told me not to which i was quite surprised about she said but it's your thing i don't know my thing is something else entirely darling but i haven't seen that for seven months anyway um no my uh, motorbike is definitely that's probably too much information. The DGR, Distinguished Gentleman's Ride, is coming up at the end of September. Uh, I have a page. It is here. This is my profile. Please donate. We have a squadron. So if you are participating in any of the Distinguished Gentleman Rides across the globe, all happening on the same day uh, in aid of prostate cancer and suicide awareness, um, a man commits suicide every minute on this planet. What the fuck? We need to talk, chaps. We need to talk. But this is to raise awareness of these things, you see. I'll do more about it, obviously, on the day and leading up to it. But yes, Distinguished Gentleman Ride coming up end of September. Um, if I've sold this, I'll be borrowing something mighty off somebody. Oh, that's another one. If anybody has got a Triton um, or something that... I mean, what would be the most amazing bike to ride at the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride? I'm thinking Brust Superior here. Um, is anyone bonkers enough to let me borrow it for the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride? Come on, everybody. Look, I've got over 11,000 subscribers. One of you must have something like that. Um, please say, I promise to look after it. I'll even ensure it personally. Um, but there we go. There's a thought. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas, but that would be great. And yes, so that's what's coming up. Lots of reviews, Distinguished Gentleman's Ride, etc., etc. Uh, please donate even one pound. Uh, that would be lovely towards my total. I'm trying to go for a thousand pounds this year. Um, I raised more two years ago, but I sold stuff for that, so that's kind of cheating. Um, so yes, anything, a couple of pounds, whatever. Uh, you can buy some merchandise as well from the shop, some lovely ties with umbrellas and spanners on, exciting things like that. Um, those in tweed help those in need. Don't forget that. Uh, and I'll be wearing my lovely tweed britches. Possibly not my Triumph socks again, because that was a little OTT. Didn't really work with the image. Uh, full tweed, etc. 
possibly the pipe. See how we get on from there. Doing the Surrey Hills one if you want to join us. But yeah, sorry, if you uh, ride with any other, you can join my rambunctious squadron. I have a rambunctious squadron. Uh, so any, and it all goes towards uh, the total of the squadron. However, you don't lose any of your individual total. It just goes into the, sort of the group total. Feel free to join and uh, help raise awareness. Um, thank you very much for listening to me yet again. Tani Baliho. Have a lovely autumn. Enjoy the weather. And uh, I shall see you soon. Bye.